Parents have been alerted after a student brought a weapon to North Central High School today. The district is not saying what kind of weapon they found. This is the second time in two days we've reported on a gun either in a school or on a school bus in Central Indiana. CBS 4's Michael Van Skoik joins us as parents and students share their concerns just two weeks into this new school year. Michael. Yeah, Bob, the district tells us school faculty found a student in possession of a weapon during routine supervision, but they did not specify exactly how they located it. Now tonight, parents and some students are on edge. Many North Central students were aware of the incident. While some shrugged it off, others are nervous to return. It just makes me feel like more unsafe. I like being out, like being around, like at school too. Sophomore Kariah Walker is new to the district. While no one was hurt, she and her mother say the incident is an unpleasant introduction to a new school. They just started last week, so it is concerning. Washington Township Schools police handled the incident. District leaders sent an email to parents and us that reads in part, quote, our officers acted swiftly and immediately to enact safety protocols and the situation was handled prior to classes starting. The email did not say what weapon was brought to school. I thought we were putting them in a better school district. Julie Smith with the Indiana School Resource Officers Association encourages students to always speak up. That means that if you see something, say something. There's a lot more of them than there is of us. And she feels parents need to be in tune with what their kids are doing and what they're accessing. Safety isn't just up to us. It's not just up to the principal. It's not just up to the student deans. Safety is a culture. And that is up to everyone. Ahead of tomorrow's classes, Kariah says she'll definitely be more alert at school moving forward. Especially like at school too, like somewhere I'm supposed to be safe, I have to keep my guard up at school too. It's just, it's, it's scary. Now the district also added its disciplinary actions will follow our code of conduct and the law. Meanwhile, IPS says a student brought an unloaded gun clip to school today. District leaders say the student did not have a gun though. IPS also says the issue will be handled under the district student code of conduct policy as well. In the newsroom, Michael Van Skoik, CBS 4 News. And Michael, we just got new information on your story. A police report CBS 4 just obtained shows that gun was a Glock semi-automatic with ammunition. We're still getting more information on this story. We'll update you as soon as we learn more. Right now, Hendricks County.